Right then, I've just used the conveniences in the village hall. They always let me use them. Um, I did walk, I had a lovely walk up through the village, a different route than I normally take, but I didn't video that bit. But um, it's about 11 o'clock now. Here I am over a bit Bitnoller. I've got quite a few clothes on, and I haven't got my big coat on anymore. Um, and I'm going to take this coat and fold it up when I get up the, uh, just before I start to do the hill. I'll just keep it on for now. And then I should be rolling it up and uh, so the last time I came over here I was going to do parad I did Paradise Coom um, and I do need, need to end up over that way at some point but what it is I'm going to go straight up Bicknola Coom and then curve back round and somehow get near the top of that hill there. Not that one. Um, I sometimes come down from the top of that one, but I won't be doing that today either. Basically, I'm doing a circular. I'll be going up Bicknola Coombe and down it later. Um, I have had quite a lot of trouble with my right knee since I did the, the, the big pretty walk. Ebber Gorge and Pretty and Wells. I've, after that walk, my knee really played up and uh, it hasn't really. I've, had, I've rested it for six days until today, putting heat pads on, rubbing in deep heat. Um, but it uh, has been a bit agitated, so I, I think this won't help today, but. I can't sit in a box in this weather. I have to get out, so hopefully, if I can get what I've said to myself now, right, I used to fit in three big walks a week. Um, but until this knee is sort of improved, hopefully it will, um, I will do one, one big walk a week. This isn't going to be the biggest I've done when I come over here, but what is big is the hills. I'm going to cut the size of that. I've come down right off the top from there before now. Right over the top I've come. And uh, anyway, so I got a train to, from Weston to Taunton. Cost 660, it's gone up 20p. It's a return. As a senior rail pass so you get 30% off or a third off something like that might be a third off and then um, I had to wait less than two minutes for a really good connection today with the bus the number 28 Taunton to Minehead bus that was a good 20 minute ride uh, and it dropped me off at Picknoll Church Lane. So I'm going to have a steady climb up the coombe. Once again, if you had a vehicle, you could <coughs> not carry so much stuff about somebody coming. But basically, when you you've got to carry it all. Right, over and out popping on briefly again because I passed a lady with a dog I'm always very discreet when people are about but you can guarantee as soon as I put the video on someone else will come now when I came here one of the walks I did I got through this gate and I turned that way um, that is quite a big hike up from there so I'm doing a steady coom hike today there'll be by water Partly shaded, but a lot exposed. I'll be going straight up. Um, so, this is called Bicknoller Hill, and like I said, I've got a very dodgy knee. Um, so, I will be taking it steady. I won't be doing the big hike that I did want to do because I, I need to leave 
very early and it has to be at a week, a Saturday, where I'm allowed to get on any bus and any train without any sanctions. Um, so that will be left for a bit. This is just a recce today. And uh, basically, Picknoller, without, uh, now I haven't got any transport of my own, is my main place to come all the time. I have to come here and I either go left or right further up so I can go over to Holford that way. I'm hoping to come up through Holford Glen later. Not yet. I'll probably get a six o'clock bus. I'm giving myself to six o'clock because basically it's 11 now and It'll take me an hour to get up this hill. It's awful to be dictated. I've mentioned it before by time. It really is awful. But you see the price of petrol, although they might cut some petrol duty or something, there's a mini budget today, lunchtime, and he might be cutting some things to help people with petrol. Um, because they've got to sort out all these fuels and things because of the war in Ukraine um, and we import a lot from other people including wheat Ukraine is a type of bread basket for Europe so I don't think we'll be getting any we'll have to grow our own and uh, like I, what, I, what I'm trying to get to is that I had thought about getting a small vehicle for this next year um, before it gets really extortionate and before I lose my confidence in driving it's been two years uh, it's, uh, it'll actually be three years this year since I've been to Borough Green um, to see the oak graves not easy to get to I mean, I know I could get there. If I really wanted to, I could get a coach to the Newmarket and then either walk out to Borough Green from there on some sort of route or, or get a taxi. You know, um, there are ways around it. But I did really want a little vehicle so I can go around all the villages, you know, near Borough Green where all the ancestors were, lived and buried. But I'm out here on the Quantox. Since I last came out here, I found some Yorkshire routes. Wensley Dell. I think it's something like a Times 4 or 5 great grandmother was called Jane Robinson. <coughs> and, uh... So they've still got a visible grave in Wen Wens Wensley Dell, a um, big old grave from the 17th century. And, um, which is in good condition in the churchyard there. It's just a little village in the Yorkshire Dells. So I found a Yorkshire link, you see. A link to the north. Yeah, because it's winter, you can actually see a lot clearer the um, geology here. Quite often, I've, I'm up the top there, walking down a path and down. But I'm having this slow plod today up here. This is the introduction, folks, to my Quantop Walks for 2022. Little dam there. Look. There are some people behind me. I've got no idea if they're going to follow me up here. I hope not. Um, now, further along up here, I quite often see deer. Quite often. Right on the top there. So it's. I think it's been. I don't know. I forgot to look in the book to see when I last came over. 
but I reckon it was September, October since I've been to the Quantox. It doesn't look like they're coming this way. I don't think so. This is my new route. I mean, when I had Alberta, I always parked at um, Holford. Always. But it's good that I got this route. And it doesn't take long, you know. It takes probably as long, if not faster, coming by public transport than me driving. Probably the same. In fact, it's cheaper. I used to put a tenner in, in Alberta when I came over here. Right, I'm going to turn off now folks, so just, this was just an introduction to Bicknola Coombe. <laughs>